Hi everyone, my name is Akori. Okay, you are welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you checking on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. In the tutorial today, I'm going to make the concluding part of my stylish A-line skirt, which I've already made the cut in my previous video. I'm going to put the link in the box below for you to see and understand. So, let's get into it. lining for both front and back this is the upper part of my front part so I'll go ahead and open it up like this don't make a mistake please you know let me fold it back for you to understand and here is where my above the knee line is you know there is a little bit cover the side of my above the knee line don't make a mistake please so I'll now open it up like this Place my lining on it. Make sure you place it very well on the right side of the fabric. So, and I'll go ahead and stitch from here. This is my waist. I'm going to stitch it straight like this. Stitch the side too. And stitch the second side. I'm going to leave this place open. You know, this is the place I'm going to join it to the down part of it. So, when I finish with this, I'll move ahead to my back part. This is my back part. I've cut the lining for it too. 8 inches shorter than the fabric as you can see. So I'll go ahead and separate it. Because I have two lining for it. You know, like I said earlier, I'm going to add zipper to it. So I'm going to separate my fabric too. Just like this. And put it aside and take one of the lining, place it on the right side of my fabric like this. So I'm going to start my stitching on the waistline like this. I'm going to stitch like this with quarter, I mean half inch, which is 0 0.5. I'm going to stitch it like this stitch the side to till i reach where the lining is i'm going to stitch the second side of it to till i reach where the lining is i'm going to do the same thing on the second part of my back part so when i finish into my fabric this is the back part one of the back part and this is the second one so i'm going to turn it to the right side for you to see give it good press before continue with my sewing is the upper part of my front part I'm going to turn it to the to the right side as well just like this which is the down part of my front part I've made the stitching from here till the line I marked there to secure my pleat so I'll now go ahead but I made the slit stitching I make it I made it on the right side of it I open it up like this one by one stitch from here to here open this one too like this stitch from here to here so that's how I made the stitching. So and to let my pleating stand out to add more beauty to it, I'm, I'll go ahead and stitch my bias on it like this. I'm going to stitch on it like this, open it one by one and stitch on it. You know I have five pleats here, so I'm, I'm going to make it one by one on each of the pleatings to make it stand out. If you want your own pleating to be more than this, you can extend it. So that's it for that. After doing all that, I'll come and show you what's next. I'm done ironing it. This is the back part. I'll just place it on each other like this. I'll let the right side face each other like this. So I'll now go ahead and stitch the remaining one and a half, 1.5 that remain. You know, I added two inches for zipper allowance, so I've used half for the lining. Then the remaining one and a half, I'll just stitch it from the waist here down to the bottom of it. So I'll move on to the front. This is the upper part of my front part. Here is it. I've ironed it as well. I'll now go ahead. And as for this, I've stitched the bias to it to let it look more beautiful as you can see here is it as you can see 
it has had the beauty to the pleats that I made on the front part. So I'll now go ahead and place this one on it like this. I'll let the right side face each other and join it together. So I'll just stitch with half inch. It will now be like this, as you can see. It's taking shape. Before attaching your, I mean, before stitching your bias to it, make sure you hang the bottom of the skirt at the front part to avoid any unnecessary stress. So I'm done joining the zipper area. I'm done joining it together. So this is the right side of it. Before joining it to the front, before placing my front on it, I'll go ahead and hem my the bottom of my back with one hinge. You know I've already hemmed the bottom of my front. So after hemming the bottom of my back, I'll now place it on each other like this. Let the right side face each other like this. So I'll now measure out all my horizontal line for you to understand what's next to do. Now for you to understand very well what I'm doing, after placing the front and back together, let the right side face each other. I had to fold it into two again for you to understand. So these are my horizontal measurements. I will now go ahead and place my vertical measurement on it. You know, while I was cutting, if you watch my video on how to cut it, I added 2.5 my elastic. But now I've used half for the lining. This is the remaining two inches for my elastics. So from there, I measured my hip line, which is eight inches. Here is it. And from the waist here, I measured my before the knee length, which is 18 inches. So I will now place all the vertical measurements on the line now. So here, I'm going to input quarter of my hip. You know, I said my hip is 44. Divided by four will give me 11 inches. So I'll just add that 11 inches. I'm going to place it let it reflect on the starting point here so here is my zipper allowance the remaining 1.5 for my zipper allowance i've already used a for lining so on my before the knee line i'm going to place quarter of my e minus one so it will give me 10 inches this is where it is now so I will now connect it. I'm going to connect it like this. Then connect it like this. Do not leave any sharp edges, please. Blend all your sharp edges. So I'm going to. So from here now, I'm going to connect with my straight long ruler to the down part of my skirt. So I'll just place it like this then trace it out like this it's as simple as that and i'm going to blend this place just like this so on my mark here what i mark here i'm going to let it reflect on this second side too so i'll now go ahead and stitch from here till the bottom of my skirt on this line so make sure you let it reflect on the second side of it. Now I'm done stitching the back side of my skirt. This is the back part of it and this is the zipper area. As you can see it's very nice and beautiful. So I'll now go ahead and turn it like this. Fold it into two. This is my center back. I'm going to fold into two to get my center front. So fold it like this and chop the center front out. I need to know where exactly the center front is. This is my center front. I had now I had it to put it for my elastic front, which I've already used so half inch for the line. I'm going to, and I'm going to mark the remaining two inches out. I'm going, like to I'm going to connect it to form a straight line on my waist. Just for me to know where I'm going to fix my elastic band on two side, both sides of my skirt. This is my, this is my center front now. So, All this marking, I'm going to repeat it on skateboard. my uh, back part for, for me to know where inches. I'm going to fix I'm going to my elastic band. Now, to know the amount of elastic band I'm cutting for the skirt I'm making, I'm going to use the waistband of the person I'm making skirt for and 
the waistband of this person is 40. I'm going to deduct 8 inches from it because of the elastic bar that I'm attaching to it. So the remaining one will give me 32 inches. I'm going to divide that 32 inches into 4. It will give me 8 inches. So on the center front here, I have to get 8 inches. I'm going to let it reflect on the back part too. So I'm connecting it to the waist line. As you can see me doing, and this is the remaining 2 inches line for my elastic band. I have 8 inches elastic band here. You know, I deducted that 32 inches into 4. That's Since I've marked the 8 inches out now, I'm going to extend this line. Just extend it a little bit like 2 inches. Extend it down. So my interfacing is 8 inches in width and 1.5 in length. I have two pieces of it here. I'm using this one for the back, but since I'm adding zipper to it, I don't need to add this one at all. I'll just put it aside, place this one, the gum side, place it on this, like this, then give it good press to make it stay. Then let me hold. As now, you can see, I'm, I'm done, done with the, the interfacing. Then. On the center That's front it. of my so skirt, I'll take my no elastic. Of it on the center I'm going to place it in I'm going to between take my elastic band as you put can see it in between, between the interfacing. Let me zoom my camera for you to see it very well. I'm going to place so I'm going it like to this. put it in between the interfacing. As you can see, and I'm going to top I'm stitch, stitch, on, stitch on, it on it like this. this. So I'm going let to take the second one. Let me for you to understand. Let me use my pen to hold it. So let me use pen to hold it down before placing the second one on the other side of it. So I'm Just placing like the second this. one as well. The second one will be like this. Let it be this in between the interfaces. Like you spin to hold it down. And I'm go I'll go ahead and top stitch on the elastic. Top stitch it very going well. going to top stitch on it as well. Now I'm now done stitching the elastic on, the elastic on both sides. Side, I top stitch on it like this. So, so I'll now go ahead, I'll go ahead and, and follow the same process on the front. I make the drag same line. Elastic on just back. like this to meet I'm going the to back. do it like this. Let me turn I'm going it for to turn it for you to see what I want so to do. I'm doing the same so process and I'll just drag it like this on the front on and the back. stitch I'm going to let it on this line. this line and top stitch. Follow it. the same process that I follow drag on the, the front, one to top stitch on it. I'm going to drag the second, drag the second one, one to meet, to meet this, line this line top stitch as well. Just like this. And I'm going to stitch on it. stitch it like this a little bit. So, when so I finish with it, I'm I finish that, what's I'll next. I'm done now, stitching I'm my done elastic. Stitching on my elastic. This is on my the back part. part. I'm done stitching it. It's very nice. So I'll now go beautiful. ahead and turn it. So I'll now go ahead and fold, fold the front. Like this is I'm going to top stitch on it. I'm going to top stitch on it like this. Starting my stitching. I'm starting my stitching on the back part. my zipper allowance. I'm going to open my zipper allowance like this. Start. Start like my stitches just top like stitch this all round. I'm going to top so stitch it when I get round, to the side open of it, the side I'm going like to open this. the seam allowance Fold like this on the elastic folding like this like this I hope you can see what I'm doing it very well all round make sure you fold it so I'm going to top stitch this is how it I'm all round while sewing two inches I'll be that remain dragging it like this so I reach pulling it the second part of I'll my adjusting it while sewing it so fold it round like this now I'm done with it all through, as you can see, it's very nice and beautiful. This is how it's going to be. Make sure you don't stitch on the elastic for you to be adjusting it easily, as you can see. This is both sides of the elastic. So I'll now go ahead and place my skirt like this. I want to show you how I'm going to fix my zipper to it. So this is my zipper side. I'm going to open it. To contain the zipper I want to fix to it. This is my zipper. I'll just place it on it like this and mark where I'm going to start my stitching all the way to the down part of my skirt. So I'm going to leave the opening here for my zipper. So I'll now go ahead and fix my zipper to it. So I want to turn it to the right side for you to see how beautiful it is on the right side so here is it guys as you can see it's very nice and beautiful so this is where i'm stopping for today guys if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel 
If you have any question or any style you want to, us to talk about, you can join me on my Facebook group, Details to Sewing, created by Akuridi Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akuridi Adenike. Till I see you in my next video, guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.